Welcome back to Movies, Movies, Movies. I'm going to apologize again for the show being late because my mic was out and it took me a while to get one. I'm still trying to get my really good one working again. Um, I, I haven't got to work since I got it, but uh, just because I don't know how to get it to work really good for me. But hopefully soon I'll get it figured out. Just buy a couple more things and hopefully I'll get it done. But uh, I finally got a backup mic and figured I better hurry up and get some of these episodes out. But uh, we're going to talk about movies being released on August 24th. Now, AXL, I've already talked about on episode 15. Apparently, they moved the release date to August 24th. So if you want to hear about that one, go and listen to episode 15 where it was August the 10th. But the other one that's being released was The Happy Time Murders. Uh, Storyline. The puppet stars of an iconic TV show, The Happy Time Gang, are some of the biggest celebrities around. But off camera, the family-friendly cast leads the kinds of lies that would make a tabloid writer blush. When the stars of The Happy Time Gang begin to be mysteriously murdered, two mis match detectives Wally type A take no prisoners human with a secret and the other a crass hard drinking puppet with a connection to one of the victims must put aside their huge differences to stop the killings and catch the culprit all the while trying to resist the temptation to murder each other start off with companies the distributors STX films production companies are Henson Alternative all the day productions and the Jim Henson company. And then I will tell you what the Rotten Tomato scores is. The tomato meter 22% with a 44 45% of people liked it on the audience score. The critic consensus the Happy Timers waste is intriguingly progressive premise on a witless comedy that blindly pushes buttons instead of attempting to tell an entertaining story. Ouch. That was not good. But, let's see. Melissa McCarthy. You uh, acted in it. She is let's see. Ghostbusters. That's the one I recognize her from. And also in the movie called Tammy. She's in The Hangover Part 3 back in 2013. Bridesmaids in 2011. And she screen wrote a few of them. Life of the Party in 2018. The Boss in 2016. Also Tammy does said a while ago. She produced a few of them. Like Life of the Party and The Boss. It's been announced a few movies that she's going to do. And uh, she's in development a few of them. So you can look forward to seeing some more of her stuff if you like her. Then Mia Rudolph is in it. Let's see. Life of the Party in 2018. She's also played a couple of voices like in The Nut Job 2. She played Precious. Angry Birds. She played the voice of Matilda. Let's see what... What she looks like, let's see, Grads, or Bridesmaids in 2011, Grown Ups 2 in 2013, Shrek the 3rd in 2000, oh, of course that was a voice probably, she played Anchorman in 2004, and she goes all the way back to 2003 in Duplex, and I will say one more person who acted in it, Elizabeth Banks played Jenny. Uh, let's see. She plays a voice in Lego Movie 2, The Wild Style. She played in Pitch Perfect 3. She played Gale in 2017. Magic Mike XXL in 2015. Pitch Perfect 2. 2015, Hunger, Hunger Games Marking J Part 1. 2014, she played Effie Trinket. And also, The Hunger Games Catching Fire 2013. She goes... All the way back to 2003 in Seabiscuit. 
Also, Spider Man 2 in 2004, the 40 year old version 2005. So, there you go. And that's the movies coming out for August 24th. Have fun at the movies. This show is brought to you by Heartland Production Entertainment. If you'd like to help to make the show better, go to patreon.com slash heartlandpae.